So these, this defense matrix that we have has been developed over you know, millions of years to defend ourselves against predators and to uh, ensure our survival. Um, and we have in our amygdala, uh, which is the basic part of the brain, uh, a trigger for perception of threat that then excites this defense response matrix. Through our conditioning, as we go from infancy to our adulthood, conditioning feeds into that. So we learn when it's a good idea to run away versus fight back versus defend ourselves. And it becomes a very complex system within the neural system of synapses and white and gray matter that connect all those things. So that whenever we have a perception of threat, we immediately go into what's going on and how do I survive? Even if it's minor threats, like uh, you did a bad report, lose my job, lose my food, lose my hope, all that stuff, okay? Uh, but in Aikido, we find that this keeps us in fighting mind. So we have a fourth option that we want to cultivate, at least I want to cultivate in my Aikido, and that's a, an option where I don't have to go to the defense matrix, but I go to the love matrix. Okay, And love is really easy and it's really natural where we're in a place where people love us or also when we're in a place where there's need. Like if we see something hungry, we want to feed it. We see a little lost puppy, we want to take care of it. There's a part of us that goes into the love matrix by some triggers. Okay, but the brain is organized so that perception of threat doesn't easily get to the love matrix and love things don't necessarily go to the defense matrix. We want to start bridging that gap through this misogi, through this process, so that we have the option of this entering the love matrix so that our response is not fighting but blending, harmonizing, and producing some Aikido. So, Corey, can I have you? So, the way I like to play with this is um, to identify the fields again as we did, but with a little game playing, okay? And one of my favorite games of this is uh, Halloween. I'm having a Halloween party, and this character shows up with this awful looking mask that's just horrible, and I have no idea who it is, and you're going to give me spirit energy like you want to come through the door. So if I look out through the peephole and I go, oh my gosh, there's something really scary out there. We've got to get everybody to get out of here before he comes in here. He easily follows me right in, and this is a withdrawal, and you'll find that, and you can see it on YouTube too, when fights start and things like that. People who withdraw, they just get hammered. It sucks the energy of the attack in. That's why prey, when prey runs, predator takes off after it. It's this kind of vacuuming that way, okay? The next thing I can do is I can stand here behind the door, kind of looking through the people, trying to figure out what's he doing. Now this is related to S.H.I.E.L.D., except that I've created a barrier out here with my intention, but I, I'm floating back here in an intellectual space trying to figure out what to do about it, okay? So it'd be like behind the door, going, oh, is, it, is it somebody I know? Hey, it's got to be, because it came in. But maybe it isn't, and all that stuff. Next, I could open the door, step right out, and be with him with a shield and say, you can't come in here. Now, he's going to feel that as a difference. He feels that I'm not really with him. Here, he feels like I've got some connection to him, even though I'm not piercing his central core. Then I can tell him, get off the porch, and he feels that as an entry into his central core. The energy has now extended into a conical field that goes into his central core, and he feels it moving him backwards. Okay, the shield, it doesn't feel that way. It feels like he can move around out there, and it doesn't affect him. The shield stays where it is, but this is a defensive thing. Okay, last option is he can take off the mask, and I can welcome him. Oh, it's Corey, how are you? Okay, and we see that Aikido flows out of that really naturally. Whereas if he gives me a sphere and I give him a sphere, we can get an Aiki, right? But it'll be more hard style Aikido. You know, more of, you're doing this to me, so I'm going to follow the track of your energy and put one back into you. Okay, so he feels that as being thrown. And what I really want in my applications off the mat is for my partner to not feel like he has anything, he doesn't hold anything against me, he doesn't feel like he got thrown. You feel more like I'm taking care of you, I yes, yes. That's what I want my partner to feel when the thing is over, that... 
he doesn't remember why there was even a reason to attack. <laughs> okay, so let's play with that game a little bit, get a partner, and just for the heck of it, fun of it, you don't have to go through all four of them if you don't want, but play with it a little, go, oh, I don't, oh gosh, here he comes. And then, let's see, who is that? Now his, his, uh, pro, his part of his process is to keep the spear energy on me. Okay, keep trying to get through the door. Okay, but it isn't gonna be like this, because that's gonna be overwhelming to his system. He's gonna have a hard time finding that final outcome if he's, if he's triggered so hard. So I'm just gonna give him a nice steady stream in here. Okay, and we can just say, what's your default? Uh, I'm somewhat disengaged right now, but yeah. so there's a little bit of a wall here. Yeah, there's a shield here, I can't get through this but at the same time, he's not interacting with me in any way, so I can come right up against it and all this. So that's a fine place to start from, but I want you to make it conscious and I want you to evolve me, make it a shield now. Okay, now here comes off the mask, and there you see withdrawal. Okay, so he withdrew, which in real life, he does that. I'm coming right in here like this. Okay, because in a sense, what he's doing is his withdrawal, he's also deflecting my connection. I believe connection is my need, my need being expressed through this connection. And he's saying, no, you can't connect with me, so I impose another connection from another way. So this time I want you to give me a spear back. There you go. Now it's hard for me to get this out because now I'm having to defend myself or keep my spear engaged with his spear. Okay, now I want you, here comes off the mask. Nice. So you see, I didn't change anything about what I was doing but he shifted his, his intention and all of a sudden Aikido happened without a prescribed technique. So let's play around with that, thanks.